Discrimination against uh, overweight workers is becoming a big issue. <laughs> Good one. A new study from Melbourne's Monash University has found women battling the bulge. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Bering's just going to take the piss out of these poor fat fucks. Well, I'll have you know that I can be quite well-spoken, thought-provoking and shit like that. ...are facing shrinking salaries. See what I did there? See what I did with the whale? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, we've got, to, we've got to be serious now. All right, guys, come on, shut up. All right, guys, shut the fuck up. As they lose out to thinner colleagues and uh, pay rises for pay rises and promotions. International studies now show that fat discrimination... Ugh, I wish annoying voice discrimination was a thing. ...is one of the most prevalent forms of discrimination in society today. Um, and it really uh, is outpacing things like uh, racism, sexism and ageism. Yeah, I'm not sure it belongs in the same category as racism, sexism or ageism, because you can't choose your race, your sex or your age. You can, however, choose not to have that fifth Big Mac. The former Biggest Loser contestant Ruth Almeida de Campos weighs 155 kilos. She says discrimination is part of her everyday life, whether at work or just out and about or in the shops, whatever. Ruth and workplace expert Kate, Kate Southam join us now in the studio. Good morning to you, ladies. Good morning. Uh, Kate, first up, are you surprised at the findings here? I wish I could say I was surprised. I'm just disappointed. Mm. Not surprised. And it, it's ridiculous because it's employers themselves that are missing out by having such a narrow view. <laughs> Good one. Of just who is the success? person. All right. Ruth, uh, you know, I just, I just said a little earlier that you face discrimination you feel in the workplace and even out and about. T t talk us through that. What, what, what are those days like? Well, the first time I was discriminated against as far as work was in 1999 when I applied for a position as a trainee beauty therapist mm -hmm. and I was told that I didn't fit the, uh, the physical description of the job. And that was hard because I was nowhere near as overweight as I was now. I was wearing a size 16, which I think is pretty average for the Australian woman now. And to find out that you're not eligible for a job due to your weight. And at the time, I was nowhere near as confident as I am now, so I didn't pursue that or follow that through. But it definitely limits your, your work potential. A couple of things there. Size 16 is definitely above average for young women in Australia. And while it's not PC to talk about, there are certain characteristics that make up the widely accepted definition of beautiful. So let's say you apply for a job as a beauty therapist and you're going head to head with someone who could be considered more beautiful than you. Given that beauty is the focus of the job, is it wrong for the employer to take this into consideration? Now consider there's a job available as a bouncer at the local bar and a skinny, softly spoken guy goes head to head with a seven foot brick shithouse with arms like cannons. Given that crowd control and security are the focus of the job, is it wrong for the employer to take this into consideration. All right, um, Kate, that's got to be discrimination. Well, it's questionable, but I don't think it's got to be discrimination. <laughs> Saying it... to someone, you don't fit our, our physical criteria, yeah. surely. Sure. I probably wouldn't fit the criteria for a male catwalk model. I don't see that as discrimination. It's kind of just the way it is. But, you know, always looking for a legal remedy. It takes up a lot of your life and yeah. it's a huge big battle. And I think uh, it's not always the answer. So instead, when you're going to an interview, um, you have to play against the stereotypes. You have to go in with energy and enthusiasm and confidence. Exactly. You want to give the impression that you are energetic and confident. If you go to an interview in your shitty old clothes, the interviewer will probably get the impression that you're untidy. If you're late, the interviewer will probably get the impression that you're unreliable. So is it unreasonable for an interviewer to maybe see an obese person as lacking in self-discipline? And you shouldn't uh, let somebody else define you. But you're going to the interview in order to be judged for your suitability for this job. In order to do that, the interviewer has to define you in his own head. How exactly do you stop that? So, not in your language or your demeanour, you know, act like there's something, you think there's something wrong with you. Okay. Uh, so, Ruth, this study comes out. We now have a platform. We're talking about it. People are listening to you. What would you say to employers who who deal with people this way. We're Australian, fair go. Just give us yeah. the, the same deserved respect that everybody else is entitled to. And just because we're larger doesn't mean we don't have as much to offer. Mm. And I'm, I'm good at what I do and I love what I do. And to be judged on my size versus my performance would be very, very disappointing. So just, yeah, Aussie Butler, give us a fair go. I completely agree with that statement. 
If this lady's size does not stop her from doing a job better than someone competing with her for a job or a promotion, then her size shouldn't be a factor. I'm more interested in whether or not the interviewer or person making the decision can reasonably consider this in the first place. Right, fair go, sounds fun. Now I'm not saying that we should be able to discriminate based on weight, nor am I saying that we shouldn't be able to. But I think that in this modern age it's too easy to inadvertently discriminate against someone when in your mind you're simply using a bit of common sense. These questions should definitely be asked, and these discussions should definitely be had. Alright, thank you ladies. Thanks thank for joining us.